Hi, it's Tanya with Red Cardinal Crafts. How you doing? It's been a minute. I am about to do a craft room tour. It's gonna be a very quick tour. I feel bad that I haven't done any craft videos since we moved here. Let me just do a quick tidy because the girls have been staying here. Um, they were here for Christmas and stuff. Today's December 29th. They went home a couple days ago, just <laughs> seven minutes down the road to their place. I'm just gonna leave this the way it is with their Christmas sheets and everything. It's a trundle bed, so this is normally pushed in. Uh, but let me get everything organized because I want to tidy up and do a tour because then I'm going to tear things apart again because I am actually about to buy a hamster. I'm trying to figure out where it's going to live in this little space. It's going to be a spare room, an office, a craft room, and a pet room. So <laughs> this should be fun. I'm getting one hamster. I'm getting a Syrian hamster. They're supposed to be alone. They're not like a companion. They're not supposed to have friends in the cage with them. So it's one hamster. I made a promise to my husband and it has to fit in this space. So the way I have my room set up right now, if you saw my house tour on my other channel, this is my craft space, but it works. And this is all I need. This is all I've ever needed. It just, like the pets, it just kind of exploded. This is my little space. This is my one trophast with all my stuff in it. I have my printer, I have this little small trophast, and then I've got my um, scan and cut and my stickers up here. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this space for the hamster and this cabinet is gonna move to the foot of the bed. I have to admit, I have not missed any of my crafts. I do have a couple things that didn't make it here from long-term storage like my bobbin lace pillow, had it in the pile of things that were supposed to come here, but the movers had different plans. So there's a couple things like that that didn't make um, the move. They made the move, but they're just in long-term storage for the next however many years. So I thought what I would do before I tear the place apart is show you what it looks like, what I have, where it is, and um, I'll do a quick little tour. It's gonna be quick. Go not very big. Starting over here, I've got my little, my little guys. I had actually contacted the lady that designs these and she gave me permission to make and sell her items for two years. Unfortunately, when I asked her, it was 2020 and I had no idea what was about to happen. So I never did make things to sell at my craft fairs because I didn't have craft fair and blah, blah, blah. So the time has expired and I never did um, do anything with her designs, but that's fine. Mom and dad, their memory boxes. This little spot on my desk is where I get ready in the morning. I have my little Miffy boxes. They're too cute. I got those at Value Village. Um, and they just have my hair things. I've got my straightener. And then down under the desk, this was my Christmas gift this year. This little thing that's supposed to be like a sewing box or whatever. I have like my makeup bag. I have like extra things that I just don't have on the desk. This is where you were living a moment ago on my tripod. Then I have my little trofast. I have this lamp that can come over and light up the space really well. I have my scan and cut. I have my beats, my headphones. Then I have this sticker that I got at Value Village. I love it. I have my goofy marionette that I got in Bermuda. I love him. This is, I don't know if I ever told you guys about my hole in one. Did I? I'm sure I told you. I, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure I told. I have my little puzzle guys here, the bird, the shark and the whale. I didn't realize I bought all blue ones. This was my dad's fan. Um, these are my stickers and their little sticker thingies. This is the printer that we have. It's the shack printer. In here, I have embellishments. If you guys recall all the embellishments I had years ago, this is it. This is all I have right Oh, there are those bookmarks. I get these at Daiso. I love these so much. Um, and then this is like a travel set of embellishments. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. So if I was to take a travel journal with me, there's I have stickers and stuff in here um, that I could just grab and take with me. Down here I have my 
business cards, I have string, I have the little wax things to go with my stamp, I have my little clips that I use, I have my business cards, and then down here is my square reader, like for credit cards if I do um, a craft show. These were just Ziploc bags. I thought I had my proper craft bags, but I did not bring those with me. This drawer has my Disney stickers, which I have never used, and I love them so much, so I would like to use these at some point. They're awesome. Bought those at Disney years ago. These are my Project Life cards. That's it. That's all I have of my Project Life cards. I... <laughs> filled two Rascog carts with my Project Life cards before. I do have to say I have some 4x6 Project Life cards that didn't make the move. Somehow they're in the same box with my Bob and Lace pillow, so they're gone. So this is all I have for Project Life cards. The other ones I gave away, I sold in Calgary, um, and there you have it. These are just playing cards that some of you have given me over the years in this next oh, in this drawer i have some boxes because i had been making a few of my paper play sets um, over the holidays i just have all my little um bags for if i do like a little painting or whatever inside those are all ready to go i have this printer paper because i bought a little printer it's the fomento but it's like, you know, when you get a receipt that will eventually fade, it's like that. So I don't really know what I was thinking. It was kind of a, an impulse buy, but it's too cute. So I thought that would be fun um, for journals. And I don't know, I can, you know, I got the extra paper. But I don't know, it's just really cute. I would love to have a tiny little photo printer again. I had one years ago. In here, it's literally just junk. <laughs> I wore these sunglasses to the Elton John concert. Um, it's just tape and extra stuff is all that is. Um, then over here, I have some of my journaling things. I have my Mickey glass with a thing of water in it so that if I'm up here and I'm painting, I have water with me. I have these little containers with buttons, ribbons, washi tape, and, um, I'm not sure what's in the bottom one. I think it's thread. Then in here, those are all my Copic markers. I managed to fit them in that container. In here is a gorgeous typewriter. He's so cute. Um, I got it here. Yes, I did have a typewriter um, before. I uh, got it in Seattle, but this one's cuter. And the other one ended up in long-term storage, so I don't have it. These are my studio lights. <laughs> These are my studio lights and my kneeling chair. I brought that with me just because I wanted the option um, if I was crafting, if I want to use that or if I want to use my desk chair. Up top, we've got a lamp. We've got my Pixar lamp that my friend Mariel, her husband made. You can actually turn on the little bulb. He made this with his 3D printer. How adorable is that? Whoop. Then I have my art of books. Love these. They're beautiful art books. Um, and I'm using my, my Mickey... Uh, bookends that I've had forever. My little Mickey right there. Then in the top drawer, oh, look at this. I got this recently, Bob and Lace Making uh, at Valley Village, $5.99. So these are my Bob and Lace supplies. I have my supplies. I just don't have my pillow. So a little frustrated about that. I might have to buy another one. In here, I have my embroidery hoops. This was like an old one that I got. It was with a kit that I bought, but it's just so ancient. I love it. Um, this, These are my fabrics and my little drawstring bags, stuff like that. Someone asked me recently if I could do a video on the little cloths that I use for my tarot cards. Don't have a sewing machine. Um, I got rid of my sewing machines because they were dead. They, they just eventually died. So I do need to get a new sewing machine. In here, I just have some acrylic paint. I have some ink and I have my old, um, oil paints. And for some reason, the movers, every time they say, no, we can't take them. I'm like, guys, it's just oil paint. And I've had them since I was 11. They're coming with us. And they're like, oh, okay, fine. This I found at Value Village. Um, this is like, one of those big pencil case things and you can keep all your colored pencils in it. Hang on. 
I've always looked at these on Amazon and I've wanted one, but yeah, I found this in Value Village for like $4.99, so I was very excited about that. Um, in here, I have some oil pastels that I got at Value Village. I have some charcoal that I found at Value Village. Did you see a trend? I got um, these pastels um, at Value Village. Uh, the Pentel ones I've had for eons. And then I have my Pris Prismacolor color pencils. I have my watercolor color pencils that are beautiful. Um, and then I have a large Copic marker, two of them. <gasps> There's my brush. Oh my God, I've been looking for this for a month. Okay. Uh, and then this is just a little pencil case. And then I have, whoops, and I have my um, little brush. So that is all kind of pencils. In here are my watercolor paints. So I have my Le Pen, I love those. I have a little plastic tray that I, I got from the dollar store. This I got from Value Village. How cute is this? I love tins. I love little tin cans. How cute is this for like a paint palette? I love it, love it, love it, love it. I got this one at Value Village. This is um, some watercolor fun old tin paint thing. Um, I have my old paint palette. That's the one I used when I did my squirrel book. I have my watercolor paints under here. I have all these tins that I collect. These are awesome. At Roots, you can get these little um, tins with mints. So I got the red one. They're not even open yet. I got the red one. I got the green one. I got the sweater one. I got the blue and then I have these, and what I do is I put, oh, <laughs> that one still has mints, wrong one. I put my watercolor paints in here, and I make a little mini palette. Isn't that cute? And then I have my colors written on there. I have another one with mints. And this little paint palette, I just love this. I've had this forever. Um little funnel so when I do fill up these water brushes I don't get water everywhere another paint palette um, this I use for beads when I'm doing um, my cross stitch patterns so it's a good little bowl for beads I got that at Daiso here's my water I have a couple other tins so if I ever wanted to do some paint these are my daniel smith i gave in and i finally bought some and i haven't really used them but they're there <laughs> got this little jar took that from a restaurant and then i have these little spray bottles um, that i can use to activate my watercolors when i go to paint so that is what is in these drawers or this drawer all right moving on this is all, oh, I was printing some of my paper play sets. These are papers. These are scrap papers that I have. All my scraps I got rid of. Um, they all just went bye-bye. Uh, and this is where my watercolor paper and my craft paper is. I also have my Copic marker chart in there. This is my little drawer that I have so that whenever... Um, we do something, this was like cardboard that I thought would be good for a journal at some point. Let me just move that. But this is all the things that we've got from Vancouver since we lived here. And I do have um, to do something with this at some point. This was a little crown that we had for Christmas dinner the other day because we do the Christmas crackers. So this is all my stuff. So when we come back from somewhere, I just throw the tickets or whatever it is in here and then I know where everything is. Down here I've got my Damn It doll and then these are um, my six by six papers and cards and envelopes, that's all I have. And you'll recall back in Seattle I had big decisions trying to get rid of cards so I think I have about six of each of those and that's it. And I have some envelopes. And then this are um, this is stickers from Vistaprint that I put on packages when I send things. And then this um, is all my journal supplies. Some of them are books. Some of them are signatures that I've already made. Um, Cheesecloth, patterns, all that lives in there. Over here, I have my one thing of paper. That is it. That's, oh, this little envelope fell out. Um, this is all I have 
for my 12 by 12 paper. I have my ukulele. I have my little chair that I can use um, if I go painting. This is the ink for the printer. Those are empty, but I wanted to keep the bottles. These are those little DIY miniature houses. Those are the girls. Um, one is empty. The other one, Bryn didn't finish doing hers, so that's still there. I ended up getting this large Alice in Wonderland book, which I thought would be so cool um, for a journal. So some of the pages are colored and some of them are black and white because you're meant to color them. Um, but yeah, I thought that would be fun. I have my trimmer. I have a paper bag that I've hoarded <laughs> to use for journaling. This is stuff I collected when we went to Halifax in September. I have my other tripod and I have my paper roll thing from Ikea, which I love and I refuse to get rid of. Okay, now for the closet. So this is storage for stuff. Like I have my um, dresses back here and I have our wrapping paper caddy thing, whatever you want to call this. And then down and behind, I have like my tripods and stuff, like my larger um, tripods. Up here are my parents' um, clothes that I kept. I have an extra blanket. And then these are books to read, obviously. <laughs> these are books um, that are like art reference, um, layers of looking by uh, Ian Fennelly. I love his work. He inspired my watercolors that I'm gonna do in that, that I've done in that sketchbook that I'm almost done. Um, so art books, knitting books, that kind of stuff. And then up top, that's stuff that we got from the Elton John concert when we got the tickets. Somehow we had a VIP package, so we got some Elton John posters and things. Um, this is just a bag of bags, um, like just different tote bags. Here's what I found. Oh. Siri scared me. All right. Um, this is my sketching bag. This is just extra wires and stuff. That was my dad's calculator. And then I have my tatted earrings and uh, the glare. Those are like my little planner things that I had left over from when I did the cardinal crates. These are all my sketchbooks, journals, um, all that. These are really neat. These were like old um, art books that I got at Valley Village. They were $1.99. I couldn't resist. This is how to do um, landscapes and acrylics. This is the magic of oil painting. And then I have this one. So you wanted, <laughs> so you want to paint snow scenes. And the really cool thing is um, some of the scenes in there are from Alberta which I thought was really cool. These are sketchbooks that are waiting until I finish the other sketchbook. Um, the other one that I'm about to finish, it's this. It's Strathmore Mixed Media, and I love the paper so much that um, I bought these to celebrate, but I'm not allowing myself to use them until I finish that other one. This is really nice um, Disney art book that I got. In the safe, we don't use it as a safe. I use it to store all my little kits. So I have like my... Harry Potter cross stitch. I have an embroidery kit. I have um, my small knitting. This is an embroidery thing. This is journaling. This is embroidery. This is tatting. And this is cross stitch. So there you go. These are all our memory bins from like Canada, Bermuda, and so on. This is a book of about Bermuda that I was going to possibly cut up and use as a journal. My sewing box. And then down here is my Cintiq. And then I have um, some paper bags that I'll use for journals. On this side, I have these two hangy things. So when the girls stay over, um, they put their stuff in these. And then underneath, I have some golden books that I've been collecting. And just some other books that I'll use um, to make journals out of. I have curly ribbon in here. And then the girls... Um, cross-stitch stuff. These are little tin cans that I bought to do a project that I never did do. Um, just extra binders. Scott's um, joystick he's never used. Um, and then we just have some file boxes. I've got a craft thing. I have a poster that I bought. It's the golf story um, of dad and I that I had printed into a poster. That's the thing that goes under my desk for all the wires and I can't find the attachments for it. 
Uh, and then this, I had started this, my, my diamond kit. And of course it didn't make the move. It's in long-term storage. So I ordered another one. Uh, and then this is my Rascog cart. I just have, oops. I think I kept the other one, but it's in storage. Uh, but I got rid of my beige ones and I have this black one and this has all my stuff. I have paintbrushes and I just brought my small um, thing. You know what that's called? I forget what it's called. Score, scoreboard thing? Anyway, <laughs> my little chomper thing there. I've got scissors and glue and I have some journals that I have been working on and then just my glue gun, my 365 punch. I have, these are the drills from my other um, copy of that um, 5D art thing. So I just, it's all sorted and organized. So I'll just use it for the new one. And then just crayons and this little sewing box that I had made my mom, oops, and um, my label maker. So this can roll out of the closet and just come over to my desk. So there you go. That is my craft stuff. And oh, fluff. So that is my craft space and I love it. It's small, but purposeful. Um, I use the stuff that's in here. I will use the stuff that's in here. The fact that I managed to do this is incredible. The fact that I spent all that money all those years on getting all the Project Life cards, um, I'm a hoarder in that way. Like I need the collection. Something I did um, consider getting was the, the craft box thing, like the big craft thing that unfolds. And maybe that is a solution someday just to have the space. The only thing is I find it's like really thick. And then when you open it, like where does, like how do you open it up if you don't have that space? So I think this works for me. So there you go, that's my craft room. Hope you enjoyed. Hope everyone is having a good holiday season. Today is actually December 29th. So we got New Year's coming up this weekend. And um, yeah. There you go. So I am about to go out with my daughters. I'm looking for an enclosure for the hamster I'm about to buy. So wish me luck. <laughs> now I'm going to tear my craft room apart so I can make room for that. Nothing really major is going to happen. I'm just going to move this cabinet down to that end of the bed. All right, I'm going to go because I got to go pick up the girls. I hope everyone is good. Hope everyone is safe, happy and healthy and happy new year. And I'll be back with some more videos soon. All right, I promise, I swear, I, I swear. I'll be back, okay, see ya. That's a blueberry. What is that one? What do you think? Maybe not? What about a carrot? Oh my, that's a nice one. Nice one. Oh my great he, he did yummy. We're we'll gonna watch your face for it. Get all cleaned up. <laughs> oh my god. This isn't about being pro war. The war is happening. This is about being pro-money. The more Ephraim talked, the more it made sense. Besides, compared to my other prospects, this was the chance of a lifetime.